I'm happy. The goal was to check off that box, and um, it definitely felt hard opening up with an effort like that. But um, it was a great show of where the fitness is at right now. Yeah. Was that about what you expected for a time? Yeah. I think I ran 14:46, and Dathan thought I'm probably in at least like I ran 14:43 outdoors. He thought I was in similar shape to that. So, um, given the first race and not as sharp. I would say that's exactly what we thought we could do right now. Yeah. What about the rest of the season indoors for you? What does that look like? Yeah, so I'm running the Milrose Games a mile. Done that the last two years. Gotten second both times. So I'm like, I got to go back for a third. Yeah. And then I'll run USA's. Um, still undecided about which event. Yeah. Um, if I can find a way to get there in the 3K without running a 3K, I'll do the 3K. But if not, I'll run the 15. Yeah. What do you mean find a way to get there? In With like, world oh, ranking. Qualifying into... Yeah, or the running the time at altitude, I don't know. Okay. So we'll still, we have to decide a couple things. Yeah. Um, do you think you're in good mile shape right now? I think so. Um, last year I opened up at Milrose and ran 420. So the workouts have been better than last year, just even having a year at altitude, a year under Dathan's training, a year lifting. Like I'm in a lot better shape physically than last year. So I think um, if everything's there, yeah. Yeah. How was the adjustment for you in your life? We, it was tough because it was just a lot of new things. So Dathan and I, like in the fall, reviewed and said the whole year we were very like reactive to things. And this year we can be proactive with just like deciding what to race, taking it a little calmer. Just I had some like neural nerve issues when I started lifting again because I didn't know what I was doing a little bit. So um, I feel like this year we're a lot more proactive with my training. Yeah. Was lifting just not something you did? With I just didn't do it under Coach Fox for three years. So. There's a lot to relearn. Gosh, running, running 14, 46 got to make you feel pretty good about your, your mile time. Uh, yeah. What, what's your goal going into Milrose? Obviously to win it, but time-wise, what do you think? I think the biggest thing is honestly trying to win it because last two years I ran for the win and I ran 420. I think it, I'm in shape to run under 420, but it's just a matter of how the race goes. Usually that's what it takes to win, so that would be my goal. What elements of your training have kind of given you confidence to know that you can go under 420? Um, well, even like our workout Sunday gave me a huge confidence boost. I ran a mile in 435 with Alicia, three minutes rest, ran 800 in 213, uh, five minutes, and then ran six by K off 45 seconds rest at threshold, and then finished with four by 200 ending in 28. So like that effort on Sunday is a huge confidence booster. And those are just like the workouts that we're able to do. The volume is so much higher. The strength is so much higher. The last 10 weeks I've run 75 to 80 miles and I've never done that in my life and I've done it 10 weeks in a row leading into this so it's just a huge strength block right now so that's why it's really cool to run that time right now given what workouts we've been doing and how hard we're all training as a whole as a team. Will you be targeting either the 1500 or the 5k this year outdoors? Or we've we've decided we're focusing on the 5k. Why? We made that decision this fall. Last year we made the decision two weeks before USA's and I think it really messed with me mentally because the whole year I was picturing the 1500 and I think we knew the better event was the 5k. I just wasn't mentally prepared for it, we think. So this year in the fall, they can said you're running the 5k. So that's what we're doing. Yeah. When you say better event, like more, does that give you a better chance to make the team, more competitive on the world stage? Better chance to make the team. Yeah. And that's the big goal. I haven't been able to make an outdoor team. I want to make the Olympic team. So we're going to go with my best shot to do that. And that's the focus. You mentioned that mental preparation. Uh, obviously, one of the biggest parts of running is mental. Mm -hmm. uh, and in the last three years or so, we've really kind of started to zoom in on that. Kind of yeah. Doing, doing that. So how have you kind of prepared yourself mentally to run these crazy past times to prepare for those world and what they say? Just... Yeah. I mean, I think in 2021, that was my huge breakout year running on the like world stage, making the Diamond League final and doing that in the 1500. And I've just been kind of learning from that because that happened so like fluidly, no interruptions. And 2022, I had a little bit of an injury. 2023 was a transition year moving to OAC. So I think what I've been doing is trying to really prep going into this Olympic year. And like I made that switch to OAC to make me a better runner for the future. And I think just having an extra year, I'm a lot like stronger mentally working out with my teammates, I have Alicia Munson as my training partner. She just paced almost all my race right there. It's just like I'm surrounded by really good people, a great coach, and um, I'm more mature also as a runner. And speaking of Alicia's pacing, um, 
it was near perfect. She was yes. actually a second fast, uh, so you can't ask for much better than that. And then you guys picked it up. Yeah. Um, how were you able to kind of grab that gear and kind of chase down the, the leaders? I think right now with the fitness, it's actually easier to kind of go out more conservative and try to cut it down. Like that's the way I've also run all my 5Ks. I think actually this was probably the fastest I went out. Usually we go out in like nine minutes. I think this was like 854, 55. So um, I think it just is a, where we're at in training right now to so try to just keep digging and digging. And um, it was hard. And the three um, Ethiopian women, I kind of was indecisive of when I should go and I knew they were going to cut it down too. So I kind of, I took a little bit of a backseat and didn't try to be a hero today or do anything crazy. <laughs> what was the biggest adjustment for you going to OAC last year? I would say um, the training is a lot different. Um, Nathan is a lot more like volume in just mileage and threshold work on the track with Coach Fox. It was a lot of VO2 workouts, like maybe the whole workout was three miles of work, but it was really incredible quality. And with Nathan, it's quantity and maybe it's like, it feels a little smoother running a little slower on the track, but then he'll let us run fast and we can run fast. So their training is a lot different to me, um, but I've been able to handle both really well. It's just a different stimulus. And my mileage has gone up a lot. I was running like 60 miles with Coach Fox the last few years. And like I said, I've been running 75 to 80 with Dathan at altitude. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Well, uh, congrats on getting the stand. Thank you. I appreciate the time. Thank you. Congrats so much. Thank Thanks. you.